guys, Lana Jean. Welcome back to another video. And by the title, y'all already know what we're gonna do with the claw clip um, on type four hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in and show y'all the products that I'm going to be using. So first, I'm gonna get some water, okay? I'm, um, this, none of this is sponsored too. This is this um, Curls Custard, which is basically like a, must, a moisturizer, can y'all see it? There y'all go. I'm also going to use the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream. I'm going to use a little bit of mousse. I'm also going, I don't have any real, real gel because my mom took it, so I'm going to use hair gunk. I am also going to be using Gorilla Glue. That's a big one. LA Looks because that's all I have on me right now. Of course, the glue, a comb. A rat tail comb, another one with a domain, and I'm going to be using an edge brush. I have another one too. Two scrunchies, some rubber bands, the claw clip. Take out my scrunchie. I also have a little handy dandy mirror. I'm back, so we're going to gracious, graciously put water in our hair, not too much for the style. If y'all can't see, my hair is a mess right now. One thing about me is I don't know why I just love straight hair, but I also love my curly hair. But I feel like straight hair is more durable, but I love both. But now we're going to put um, our curl custard. And we're just going to thoroughly put that through. I'm going to put that in this um, curl, Carol's Daughter. And I'm going to be right back. All right, the hair is moisturized. Now what we're going to do is these two back parts right here. We're going to take them down and we're going to braid them. I can your hair. But I would just like to loosely. Other side like that. And now we're going to braid them because those are going to be out. So there we go. Those are there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to part the hair in the front across or down the middle and across. It doesn't have to be exact, but I just like to go in the middle of the thing where I want it. There we go. And I can finish the parting later. It's okay my part isn't right. I'm not really mad about it not being right. And I just like to take the front half of the hair. So this front, yeah, I know this front half that goes in the front, yeah, right there. So this half, and we're gonna put this half in a scrunch. Finish parting it out in a little bit. But we're gonna put this part in a rubber band and do the same to the other side and then we're gonna Now come what back. we need to do is moisturize this, moisturize this top part to get the puffiness out so we can um, put it in the actual claw clip. And so basically, I'm just gonna spray it a little bit. Y'all don't know my water bottle tweaking, but you wanna spray this one a bit. Y'all, it's my fault for washing my hair and not doing nothing with it. I, I promise you guys, it really isn't looking this crazy most of the time. So we're gonna need to moisturize. So I'm gonna put it in two parts. Okay, I'm gonna put it in two parts. Down the middle. And we're going to moisturize one part, okay? You can also um, comb it out if you want to, which I am going to do for each one. But I like to put, never comb, comb your hair dry. Always put product in it, okay? That is word of wisdom from Alana. <laughs> So you see that? We're just trying to get it moisturized. It has been straightened for like two weeks. So now we're going to take, hold on, let me wipe my hands. That's a towel, don't worry. Y'all, my hands are kind of slippery. See, now we're going to comb it out. As you guys can see, you can see the moisturizer getting through it. I'm gonna put a little bit more because I want to. There we go. 
on the actual um, roots of my hair just so it can get in there. Okay, okay. I also like to brush it a little bit. Oh yeah, also we're gonna use a brush. <sighs> Not a this brush, but an actual brush. And now we're going to do the same on the other side, and then I will be back. All right, so boom, we got the back done, as you can see. Now we need to gel it up and slick it back. I forgot to mention it, you're gonna need a harder brush. And we're just gonna put gel on it. We're gonna put gel on it and slick it back. Okay. We want it all to collide into one at the back. I'm also going to use, I'm going to use the LA um, looks. This is good gel, but I usually hate using this one because I don't like how it does my hair. So we're going to put gel in it and slick it back. I'm also going to put Gorilla Glue in it. Okay. Not the actual Gorilla Glue for hardware, y'all. The Gorilla, the Gorilla Snot. Now we're going to get, and we're going to brush it back. As you can see, we're brushing it back. I need to get it flat, flat. And I can't really see, so. Now, as you, I hope you guys can see. Now we're going to pin it up. Now for the front sides, we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to add gel. Okay, we're going to comb it out and do the exact same thing, add gel. Okay, we're going to put regular gel on it, and then we're going to add the gorilla snot in the front on the edges of it. So I'll show you what we're going to do. Get it. And then I usually never use that much. You're gonna add it to the front of your hair so it can stick very, very well. And you want it to stick well. You're also gonna need some rubber bands to tie it up. So I'm gonna now I'm gonna brush it with the hard brush, and I'll show you how I brush mine. I usually like to let mine just lay like this, like this. I got a bump in my head right there. And then we're going to take it to the back. Now we'll take it to the back. We're just going to put it in a rubber band until we can do the whole thing. So if you can't see, I'll show you. Now we're just going to put it on there. We're going to get a bobby pin and pin it so the um, thickness can stay slippery, guys. We're going to pin it. Now on to the next one. Do the exact same thing, and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Don't worry about this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pin it. We're going to brush it down a little bit more. And then in the back right here, we're going to put a, a rubber band together, like tie it together. And in the back, those two strands of the hair we pulled together, as you can see, see my hand? We're going to put that together. Like so, and now we're going to brush the front part again. We don't want it looking like that. So now we're going to take the big one and we're going to take it out. We're going to brush it again. Brush, brush, brush. And we're going to take two knots in it that we just put together. And we're going to do a big, 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 like this, like so. And then we're going to do this, twist it. I like to twist mine like that. And then you take a claw clip. A claw clip. And you just stick it in there. Can you see it? 
Yeah, I know it's a little crooked, but that is okay. And now we're going to unbraid the back and just let it hang loose. Undo it, undo the back. Uh, undo, undo the back. Whew. I don't know if it's just me, but every time I feel like doing my hair, I just be feeling like passing out. And I'm gonna let the back hang loose. And now it is time for edges. Let me undo this last one. I'm gonna show you the back of it. I don't even know if it looks presentable, but this will do. Here. You guys see a little bit of hair up there. Now, for the front, we're gonna do edges. I like to use this gel. It's an edge control for my edges. Pull my front edges out first. So whatever side we're doing, we're gonna pull those out. Oh, sorry if I can't see. I'm looking in my thing because these got to be right. And we're only going to do a little bit because we, we only want a little bit. And we're just going to be following a pattern. Put your edge control or whatever you like to use on the edges. Bangy thing here, I'm gonna need both hands. I like to run mine through, run it through the hair, especially at the front. My widow's peak at the front. Now I'm gonna place this here and I'm going to do my edges. Ooh, shoot, shoot. I'm all with those people making me mad. wipe my forehead off because I have this stuff on my forehead and now I'm going to do the other side and we are done y'all like the edges I just finished them now I'm going to show you the full thing the full shazam the full thing hopefully this video was informative if you like this please like comment and subscribe now let me show y'all the full thing. If I can get it. Alright, and thank you guys for watching this video. If you got this far, I appreciate you. And that is how you do the viral trend on on, on type four hair. Hopefully you like this video. Thank you for watching. Um, go ahead if you like me. Go watch all my other videos under this. And have a wonderful day.